the Global Manufacturing and Industrialization Summit was ultimately created as a platform to bring thought leaders together from government, civil society, and the private sector to discuss the future of manufacturing. At the core of everything that we are discussing is the fourth industrial revolution and all the changes and challenges that come with the fourth industrial revolution. Today's session is, um, is very important to us because at the core of the fourth industrial revolution is connectivity and infrastructure for ICT development. So at the end of the day, you cannot uh, uh, benefit from the technologies of the fourth industrial revolution without the right ICT infrastructure. Um, and this is why today being here makes a lot of sense with ITU and uh, UNIDO being present. I think it's it's all about stakeholder alignment, uh, bringing together, I think, uh, the private sector and, and uh, government to discuss regulations, to discuss policy um, on how uh, to come up with a framework to allow these new technologies to be enabled and to be able to apply to be able to apply them uh, on the ground and and uh, this uh, development of infrastructure will ultimately allow us to enjoy the benefits of the fourth industrial revolution um, and and uh, deploy the right solutions on the ground. I think some of the hurdles would, would uh, you know, the, the access to capital uh, is probably uh, the foremost uh, important uh, uh, barrier, I, I would say. So, so you do definitely need a lot of capital in order to be able to uh, implement ICT infrastructure. Um, it also comes down to policies um, and strategies. So, so the, there, there needs to be a common framework. Um, policies and strategies need to be aligned so that everybody is working towards the same framework. Um, regulations and legislation is very important. You want to make sure that there is certain legislation in place to also control um, uh, the impact of new technologies. Um, we all know that the benefits of new technologies um, are enormous, but it also could be could lead to the wrong direction. So I think having the right framework of, of, of legislative uh, legal policies uh, is definitely uh, core to this discussion. And standardization is uh, uh, having a, a common standard uh, when it comes to implementing. So if you have different uh, standards across different places, then it becomes difficult because then you need to adjust uh, these technologies for different standards. So having a common standard is definitely key to be able to uh, scale these solutions and ideas.